<laughs> Jesus, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit balls oh my goodness guys i had like four million degrees in my filming studio right now so the door to the outside is open the door to the house is open critters are running everywhere including my husband so we might hear some sound and stuff but that's just how it has to be because it is so hot in here disadvantages of filming in your garage slash studio. I'm excited for this video. I'm a little nervous. I found this website called Glambot that actually freaking <laughs> they take people's used makeup and then they sell it for less money and somehow they clean it. Um, I don't understand how you could possibly clean makeup well enough to resell it they don't actually tell you on the website like how they clean it. They just say that there is a five-step sanitization process. And I'm just like, I would just love a video from this company to see the process. So I bought a full face of makeup from this website, all used, and I was just like, how is this going to turn out? I honestly half expect to get like just makeup that you can totally tell has been used. They also had like cushion foundation, which I don't really understand that was used. They do sell some new items on there too, but most of it's used, that's their whole shtick. Um, so I was like, I saw some cushion foundation. I was just like, Lord Jesus, how do you clean cushion foundation like and sanitize that well enough to like resell it and put that out into the world? Also on their website, I'm looking at my phone because I texted it to myself, it says, like they're telling you like what they accept and whatnot. They said, we do not accept false lashes, skincare, makeup bags, or items with reusable applicators, i.e. lip gloss, liquid lipstick, mascara, liquid eyeliner, pens, etc. Unless you work in the beauty industry. Why would that matter? Do they require like a certificate to be shown that you don't reuse the applicator and that you use like secondary applicators. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, could I come on there and just be like, hey, I am a makeup artist and I don't reuse the applicator. I don't know. Like, do you trust that? Do they trust that? I'm not really sure. So I bought a whole face of makeup. We're gonna go through everything that I bought and look at it together, open it for the first time to see what it looks like. And if this is an acceptable, like obviously, they're not shut down, so it might, it might be fine, but I just think the idea of using used makeup is so weird. So first and foremost, this is gonna be all out of order because I'm just going out of order. What's like, it says thanks for your order right here, and so I'm gonna go down the list. So this first item was the condition is good, and the fill is 80%, and this is a Lorac Pro brow pencil in slate. So it's 80%, it was 80% of the original like cost of it being completely new, which makes it $18.90 from Glambot. This cap definitely looks used. It's like smoky, like it's, you know, it's also like scratched up a little bit on the label. Now this is completely flat looking. Like, that's crazy. They must have some like sort of melting process where they melt that back down because if this had been used and there was only 80% or like, if this was used, I'd feel like you probably wouldn't, it wouldn't look like that. Oh, by the way, I spent a total of $104.08. I did not buy mascara and I accidentally bought two lipsticks because I suck at online shopping. So there's that. Next, we got ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Tootsie. This was, the condition was good. It's, um, the fill is 80%, meaning 80% of it, oh, sorry, it's not 80% less than the original. The fill is 80%, meaning 80% of the original project, pro pro project, product, I'm spitting everywhere, is still in here. We open this up and it honestly looks like it's never been used. What is this sorcery? Honestly, yeah, they use some sort of a melting pro like process. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? How it looks a little melted over on the top. So there's supposedly 80% of the product still in there. And this was $5.40. You know, and honestly, the original, oh, you can kind of see like what's used of it there. The original of this is probably what, like only six bucks or six something. So next we have the Tarte Mineral Bronzer Park Ave Princess Mini. 
Oh, I meant to start off with this, but I'm like really good at YouTube and stuff. So I completely just stuck it in the middle. Hope you're cool with that. This is the, how the product comes. Not all the products that I got came like this. Like one was in like a random different packaging with this tape. So it comes like this. It says the items in this package have been cleaned and processed by a glam team member. And then there's a little signature. Honestly, when I was buying this, I did not know that this was a mini. So yeah, when I unwrapped this, I was like, I put it back in there for like the purposes of the video, but I just wanna make sure I had everything before I filmed. But this is like a mini. This looks completely new too. Like honestly, like I would not, it even has like the little like little groovies in it. They must like spray alcohol in this and then use a like a press like you would normally use to create this product to give that that because they it makes this little print in there. I've seen it at a factory when there's like cloth under the little press thing. This is supposedly 80 per good condition, 80% fill. Everything that I got was 80% fill and good condition. So this was $15.30 used. And I feel like more than 80% of this was is left, unless it's like a really shallow pan. Next, we've got the, <laughs> of course I did this. I saw my own palette with Urban Decay on Glambot, so of course I had to buy it. Here it is. We got the Daydream palette. This baby was originally like $26, I think. And um, then on here, this was 80% uh, filled. I don't know why everything is good condition and 80% filled. Is that like, honestly, like it always comes like that from people? It just seems weird. So this is, um, this was $23 and 40 cents. So you got like less, like three bucks off basically. So you open it and this one is kind of interesting. Like I feel, like, I don't know, these two have like absolutely no texture and it definitely looks like there was like liquid of some sort inside of this and also the brush is gone. And that brush I worked really hard on. So whoever turned this into Glambot without a brush, you shady, this is awful. How could you do this to everybody? The, you, you're depriving everybody of the actual brush that's so terrible. Is the, the mirror like thing is like sticky is still on here, but you took the brush. What's wrong with you? So this one definitely looks like it was used. It's interesting, like if I gotten this new, I would've been like, wait, why Why does this one look like this? So, so this is what it looks like. And you can tell this one looks kind of used, but interesting. Um, I'd also like to know why you purchased this and then that quickly decided that you didn't need it anymore and sold it on Glambot. Like, I'm a little offended. Next we have foundation. Now I personally think it's gross to resell foundation just in general because let's check this out okay so see there's a seal on foundation for like a perp for a reason and if i use this dirty beauty blender like this and like squish product in it like when you let go of the packaging it inevitably squeezes some product back in and just this being open like that could have like like if i went like this it's part of the stuff from this, like the bacteria could go inside of this, I think. Maybe I'm just making things up and pulling them out of my butt, but doesn't that seem like legit? Like, I don't know. So this is interesting. This almost feels like completely full though. I honestly, I think I got way too pale. But um, so this is the, the one that I got here. This is the Becca Matte Skin Shine Proof Foundation Porcelain. And this is, oh, I got an eye itch. Hold please. You know when your eye is itching and you just like don't want to deal with it because you have makeup on or whatever? I don't right now, so whatever. But I'm like, I gotta itch it, I gotta itch it. So this was a uh, condition good, fill 80%. It was 22 doll hairs. So not bad, I mean, it looks brand new. Like my foundations <laughs> look like they've been through Armageddon and back. So honestly, like that's not bad. Okay, next, this other thing that I bought, I honestly didn't realize that this was a um, mini either. This was, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in Honored. And the, the condition is good, the fill is 80% and um, it was $14.40. I cannot believe how expensive this was. Like I would never pay, <laughs> I just did pay $14.40, duh! Um, I would, like if I was in a store, I just can't believe that this little thing is like what used is $14.40. Anyways, how is this 80% gone when the Tarte like stamp is still in here? I don't 
understand. My brain is trying to... No, I don't get it. I don't know. Hmm. Looks brand new. Last but not least, this is the item that I accidentally bought two of. I bought two lipsticks because I'm usually always doing everything in a rush and I was like, oh yeah, you need that one too. It looks really pretty. And then I bought it and then I got it and I was like, did I actually, do you ever do that when you like get an order and then you're like, there's no effing way that my stupid ass bought two of those. And then you go like, I'm gonna check on my invoice and click, 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 you look in and you're like, oh. I must have been, I must have been drinking. This is the Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lipstick in Country Star. Wow, it looks, that's such a pretty shade. This is like brand, looks brand spanking new. This is a fill of 80%, it was $19.80. I don't know how they did it. Like, how did you do this? This is like straight up witchcraft. I just, they're melting it somehow, but they even got like that perfect like, two-faced look to it like you know what i'm saying it doesn't look like much of it's gone either when you like turn it down now we're gonna rub some used makeup on our faces well i'm not gonna rub it on your face i'm just gonna rub it on my own face because if i get sick and die at least you'll all be spared so we're gonna start let's see I, i'm just interested to see how this like goes on is it gonna like the process that they use to clean the makeup is it going to affect the way that it comes out on your face because some of these products i've used before and i know i like them that's why i bought them now that i just thought about that i'm like i've got doubles now i should have really just you really didn't think this one through did you i think this one's too pale for me I'm just gonna we're just gonna roll with it we're gonna pretend like it's the same color look at my other foundations lately and then this is the one this foundation I've actually never used. So I, I wanna know this cleaning process for foundation. Like how do you clean? Wow, that's a really light coverage foundation. I'm like red over here and look like I got punched in the face. Like, I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, this cold beauty blender like feels so good on my noggin right now. Oh, it's so hot in here. That's a nice coverage, okay? That's, that's nice. It's nice if you're like just trying to do quick makeup and you're not sure if you're gonna have time to like blend this down your neck and shit. Like, that could work. Medium coverage foundation. Okay, I definitely feel like this is a little more on the light side, but that's me you're talking to and I wear like 25 pounds of makeup when I put it on, so what do I know? Uh, I just don't wanna stop blending this in. The beauty blender just like, oh, 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 cold, 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 cold. I just stab myself in the face with my nail. I don't know how people do those long nails. Like I would seriously like, I would I would kill myself or my husband or one of my pets. Like I don't even know how, how people do it. Teach me a ways. We're a little pale, we're a little pale and uh, we're gonna get a little more on here for the sake of having not dark circles on our eyes. Let's try this out. I like this foundation. This is nice. I prefer more full coverage, but if you're somebody that likes to wear like a lighter foundation, um, then I would say this is this is nice. This is nice. This is not a product review of the foundation per se, but you know, just throwing it out there. Save you some time. How cute is this? Okay, so it's time to move on to some eyeshadow from this super beautiful, super memorable Daydream palette by Kristen Leander BK. Very well done. Can we get a round of applause? So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Daydream. Okay. The kickback's like the same as I remember, so maybe the chemicals didn't get too weird with it. Hey, Frankie. Joining the girls today. I'm gonna go into 12, 12. Okay, that one's weird. There's no kickback at all. And when I made this palette, there was definitely a little bit of kickback because it was very pigmented. Did you just come up in here and fart? Go lay down, you should be ashamed of yourself. <gasps> I knew I was forgetting something big. You guys know what I forgot? Do you? I forgot. I popped some mascara on and the palette was good. Like nothing was too weird about it. The kickback was a little strange on one of the shades, but nothing too crazy. So now we're gonna use the Lorac Eyebrow Pencil. I might have a new one over here to compare. I literally have like seven over here and they're all used. It appears to be applying the same way the new ones do. Awesome! So I just realized I wasn't recording the bronzer the blush or the lipstick 
So I was like, I could wipe it off and refilm it, but I'm like, honestly, if I say fucking honestly one more time in this video, honestly, uh, I, I can't recreate the reactions. It's not gonna be the same. So we're just gonna have to like, let it go, let it go. Cue Frozen song that I've never actually seen the movie for. Anyways, everything was great. Everything applied really well. Um, I absolutely love this lipstick. It's like lip gloss. Again, this is the Too Faced Country Star lipstick, super awesome. The bronzer applied perfectly, so did the blush. Um, and the bronzer is the Park Ave Princess again, and then the blush is the um, Honored Blush by it's hurt. I would say that I would hope for a little bit more of a discount, I would say, if you're getting something that's been used and it's not in the packaging, original packaging and you've got to order on another site. Like I love the convenience of walking into like Ulta or Sephora or whatever and like that instant gratification of like going home with like your little bag of makeup that costs like $500 and you don't know how you spent $500, but that's a different subject altogether. <laughs> so I would say that if you are interested in like saving a little bit of money, it could work. But overall, like I think, I mean, it's a great option if you are sharp for cash and there's something that you A, really want and cannot afford and you wanna save a little bit of money and it's like a higher price item maybe. Or if it's something that's completely sold out and gone and you didn't get it when you had the chance, you can still possibly get it on the website. This was actually the only one on there and now I feel really bad. I'm like, should I just, can I send this back to you and you can like redo whatever wizardry that it is that you do to this to like make it clean and sanitary for someone to purchase because I still have some of these and that was selfish. But if it's a piece of makeup that's like already gone and you want it, you might be able to check there. So. It has its pros, it has its cons. There's still the big mystery of how the F they clean all this. I would like to know, especially for this guy, how you're cleaning. You're definitely not cleaning up inside this tube, right? So like, I don't know, I just I just would like a video because whatever kind of sorcery that it is, it must be pretty cool to be able to clean all this stuff and make it look brand new again. So like that process would be super interesting. The, I have a feeling they don't put it up there because they're afraid someone else will rip off their business idea and create like a similar business. But I don't know, I would still like to see how makeup is cleaned if you're gonna smear it on your face. I also did see some like cushion type makeup on there that was used it said and for sale. So I don't understand how you're cleaning that because like literally you're just putting it, maybe that's the like makeup artist ones, but how does a makeup artist use? I don't know, I don't know. It's confusing, my brain is going to break. Um, I'm filming this on a Friday night and I've had too many beers to make sense of this in my head. So overall, I think this is a really cool website. I mean, interesting, it's like strange, like I said, but you know, well, I wanna hear from you. Like, what do you guys think? Talk, talk amongst yourselves in the comments. I'm gonna slip in there and see what you guys have to say because I'm interested to see how other people perceive this website and like the fact of like, the fact that you're buying used, it is used makeup. I'm interested to see what you guys think. If you ever used it, would you ever purchase off the site? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm going to be getting back on my video routine and schedule and um, you'll have more videos. I'm gonna try for at least one a week. I'm gonna try for, I'm gonna try for one. If we get two, it's a freaking miracle. Right now, uh, we got new employees in the Arctic Fox office and it's been a lot of um, trying to be, you know, hands on with that whole process. I could talk forever about it. But anyways, I'll spare you. Thanks for hanging on my channel and thank you for spending some time watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting and we'll talk to you in the comments. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a meet and greet in Texas at the end of this month. And I will put the information in the description box. So I know a lot of you are like, Texas is like this big, like where you crazy bitch. And so I will put it in the description box below. Have a great night guys. Love you. Cheese. Camera higher. We'll get rid of my double chin. Yeah. That's Cause the cheese like, ain't. <laughs> like, way, like really high. Yeah, there you, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Nailed it. Are you a beauty guru? Because. <laughs> Did you want to recreate this look? I can show you how to get greasy, thin hair, too. <laughs>